So let's start to look how to add a list items on click in Vue.js. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new app here. I'm just going to say a div and then we say ID equals to a new app because it's app number two or you could give it anything you want. So within here, what I want to do is basically the following. We need an input, we need a button and we're going to put a unordered list here. And every time we press, eventually once it will be here, we press on this button when we have text in there, it will add it up. So let's start to look how we can do this. And this is just a very basic one. So we say app number two here, and I'm going to create an input. And this input, we say input type text. And then I'm going to close that. There you are. And then next, what I want to do here is to create a button. And this button here will eventually be an on click and say here, add item. Very straightforward. And once we did that, next what I want to do is an unordered list. In this unordered list, we have a list item. And in here, we have added the item. Very simple, straightforward. There we are. So we want to have this active. So to do this, I need to go back into our app.js. And because we have this here like an ID, so what we need to do here is to create basically a new view app that is rel uh, related to app number two. So this here, you could just see this basically as a get document by ID, and then you say the, the ID name. But in this case, we're going to say here, and I'm going to make it simple, I said constant app number two equals. And then we're just going to grab this here, put that in there, and like that, for example, this was basically here, we could say here, there, and then eventually anything in here. And then you might say, how do we do the mount then? Well, very similar to if you would say constant.name or constant name equals get element by ID. What we're going to say here is app number two dot mount. And then the mount will be, of course, this hashtag app number two. And this, as you can see here, looks very much similar to a basic JavaScript. It's just in a different way written. I guess that's how you should look at it. All right, so what we want to do here now is we want to start working on, well, we need to have the object or specifically the data object. And then we want to return the values and the value should be, in this case, if we, we grab the text here, so we need to make sure that we see whatever we have in the input. And then we click on this, we turn the value in here. However, we don't want to return it as a text. Basically, what we want is an array. And that array should keep on adding more items if we keep on pressing on the button. So to do this, what we're going to do here is in the data, it is the data object, again, curly braces, and within here, we can start to work on our return value. And our return value in this case will be two items. Well, first of all, is the items array. And this is a specific array. And the reason why is we want to add up more and more items. So what we're really doing here is when we add a item, we're going to push it into this array. And as we click get on the button, it's just push. We keep on pushing it and pushing a push method in array is very similar that we add up something into array at the very end. So we have this. And next what we need to have is whatever the inserted value is reaches from there. So if we say ABC at item showed here, and then again ABC number two at item show here. So we need to know here what is the inserted value from the input. And I'm just going to give it the name inserted value. Uh, so we have this, we have these items here. Oh, I guess this one is not really necessary. This is later on will become very important. So let's ignore that for now. Uh, to get the inserted value, which will eventually be this input here, we need to have an object here. So, we're, or not even an object, we have an object, comma, but we have to create a method, which is a function. So we say methods, and in here, we're going to create a new function called add item. And this add item will have the following values. So remember, we have the this here in one of the previous videos where we can grab certain values. Now we can use that same method to get items as well. So what I want to do here is I'm going to say here, uh, 
let's see here what we need to have is this item and then push so basically here you're going to say this dot items dot push and the reason why we're going to grab these items here is to say this here is the namespace of the item and then we push whatever value we get and the value we get is from the inserted value here but not from this one here but from the input very important so we're going to say this dot inserted value from the input so let's start to look at this once we did this we can save this but probably we're not done yet refresh so i say now abc of course it probably will not do although it doesn't give an error and the reason why is it doesn't recognize yet the functionality so what we want to do here now is this input here must be recognized so we need to communicate this html file basically with the javascript file or in this case vue.js so what we're going to do here oh i want to put that back all right just ignore that one and then go here so we're going to say in the text here i want the following I want to say here, well, we can say maybe ID of item, although we don't use the ID here, so it doesn't matter. But then we're going to use the V model, and the V model will communicate if something is being uh, written in here, it will recognize that. But this will be re related to the inserted value. So once we did that, we can save this, but of course, it will not show. So what we have to do here now is to push these items because it will not show yet because we don't have the button working. For the button, we want to create an on click. So we need to use again V dash and then we're going to say here on because it's another attribute and we're going to say here on click. So when we click, what we want to do here is what we want to say here what exactly we want to do this function. We want to do so basically on click is just a function so what's the function we're going to do add item because the add item here the method is a function by default that's why we have this but we don't need these parentheses because we are an attribute here already so just recognize that this is a function which is normal in javascript because you only can do on click with a function unless there's something more that there might be more but that's the most common practice so if I save this, let's see if we get now a proper response. So ABC, we click on this, all right, or ANC, anyway, doesn't work yet. And probably we're still missing something. And of course, we're missing some one more thing. So we have this, we say the add item, but the question is, as you can see here, where will it eventually display? So what we need to do is we need to loop through these item array. And we have to say that this item array, if there would be a value, it must show in here. And right now we didn't add, say anything. We only say add this item in here. It does add it probably in there, but it doesn't show it in here. So I probably can even see that here if we can maybe uh, do a console log, console log of this dot item. Every time you push it, you should see here something. Let's test that. ABC, press you can see here it is being added in here and if I do this more there we are you can see we get the array it does recognize here but it doesn't show here so now what we can do here is to start communicate to HTML we want to put it in here or HTML with JavaScript so what we're going to do here now we have the uh, unordered list and then in this unordered list we have the list item and what we want to do I'm going to just grab this we're going to say here v for vue.js and then we say four so for every item basically it's a for loop for every item we have we're going to loop through this but well, what exactly are we going to loop through we're going to say item in items so if you're wondering why this you could say anything else you could say even uh, chocolate in in items doesn't matter but the items is a reference to this specific value here so that's why i would just use item in items and as we do this, we want to, of course, show the value. And for that, we do these curly braces. And in here now, because we say every item is a value, it's like a for each loop or a for loop. So every item in the items, in the array of items, 
we want to show that value so it will show every individual value of that array of items save refresh now if i say abc there we are and now i will say uh any other value there we are there we are there we are and you might say well how do we empty this one here of course that's the one that i went ahead on here when we say when we do this what we want to do is we want to say afterwards we want to make sure that this value here will eventually blank but that needs to be as well in this function so we want to grab that what we want to do here by default it is blank but also when we are in here we say this dot inserted value will be equal to to blank save refresh now i say here oh hold on number 26 all right what is happening in number 26 uh, of course no semicolon here it should be only a comma and here should be a semicolon say refresh uh, hold on number 26 what have invalid shorthand and number 26 where are we now uh, return hold on all right my bad this of course is not necessary because we don't use this anywhere we only use it in this functionality here save that refresh try again and say here a, B, C, all right, now here's blank. Then, nah, I don't know, I'm just putting in some words. There we are. And while we put that in, you can see all these items here in this array or this proxy object here. It shows it all in there nicely. So that's basically how we can add up here. And we could even do something else here. Say, uh, success, say, refresh. And now if I put in something here and Add it up, it will say yes, success as it show a value. 